I could have learned some history about Vietnam and then shared it with you, but I consider on YouTube there are many YouTubers do that and much better than I am. So I decided it's better for me to do some different contents. For instance, while I'm doing the kind of travel long and shooting stuff, one of the difficulties I come across and how I deal with that, shall we? So the first mistake I made, usually when I travel to other countries, I will buy SIM card in advance. So whenever I arrive there, I can use it. But this time, because I choose a cheaper one, and it turns out in a lot of places, it will have no internet. And maybe you know I can speak a different language, but obviously there will be several places don't speak English or your language. So you have to use the Google Translator or stuff like that. Also the maps. So how do I cope with it without buying a new one? Well, because I only stay here for like three or four days, and I can use Wi-Fi in hotel to do some pre-planning, make some marks. And also the SIM card is usable in some major place. So I'm covered by this terrible SIM card. Next time, definitely I will spend more time and a little bit more money to buy a proper one. The second mistake I made might not be pre-planned enough. I mean, I have been here like several times and I do know the public transportation for the major location. What might be I have been got used to travel in China. The public transportation works till like 11, 12 o'clock and you can even rent a bike, almost return it at any place. So actually I didn't consider with the improvised idea. Public transportation here, it might stop at the five o'clock or six o'clock. I mean, I don't have grab for motor taxi or taxi, but uh, it will just add up the price. And also for the public transportation, it is not efficient as in our local country. Like you get every five minutes, 10 minutes. In your travel destination, it can be 30 minutes, something like that. And then you'll be short of time. I mean, you want to go there and then come back, but it will be double time. Like right now, I know the last bus will be like around six o'clock, so I have to leave now. Bus station made it before the end. So how do I cope with that? Can I actually just open your Google? I mean, you can't even imagine how good the Google Map is. You have the just location, you have picture, you have different routes, and you just pin some place and then make your improvised plan. Because sometimes... <laughs> 15k, 25k. Got a sauce. So the reason I'm eating here is because I don't know why, but I was in the bus station, right? And I waved my hand, but uh, he just ignored and passed. Which means another 30 minutes unless they use grab. And back to the topic of improvise and Google. You know, majority of the time, I think it's better to have plans and then execute them precisely. But sometimes there are just so many things and you don't have time to prepare for that. Then just improvise. Because I can say I have wasted a lot of time today, but I also see the chain in Haiphong, which I didn't know it exists. It is also across the street and also the church over there, so who knows? Anyway, I hope I can catch the next bus. See ya. It's so sweet and full of gear. To be honest, uh, it's really difficult to find a cabbage can. Shit. Oh, and it's complicated.